Ruth chapter 3 verses 1 to 18 Ruth's appeal to Boaz Ruth's mother-in-law, Naomi, said to her, My daughter, shouldn't I find security for you so that you will be taken care of? Now isn't Boaz our relative? Haven't you been working with his female servants? This evening, he will be winnowing barley on the threshing floor. Wash, put on perfumed oil, and wear your best clothes. Go down to the threshing floor, but don't let the man know you are there until he has finished eating and drinking. When he lies down, notice the place where he's lying. Go in and uncover his feet and lie down. Then he will explain to you what you should do. So Ruth said to her, I will do everything you say. She went down to the threshing floor and did everything her mother-in-law had instructed her. After Boaz ate, drank, and was in good spirits, he went to lie down at the end of the pile of barley. Then she went in secretly, uncovered his feet, and lay down. At midnight, Boaz was startled, turned over, and there, lying at his feet, was a woman. So he asked, Who are you? I am Ruth, your slave, she replied. Spread your cloak over me, for you are a family redeemer. Then he said, May the Lord bless you, my daughter. You have shown more kindness now than before, because you have not pursued younger men, whether rich or poor. Now, don't be afraid, my daughter. I will do for you whatever you say. Since all the people in my town know that you are a woman of noble character. Yes, it is true that I am a family redeemer, but there is a redeemer closer than I am. Stay here tonight, and in the morning, if he wants to redeem you, that's good. Let him redeem you. But if he doesn't want to redeem you, as the Lord lives, I will. Now lie down until morning. So she lay down at his feet until morning, but got up while it was still dark. Then Boaz said, Don't let it be known that a woman came to the threshing floor. And he told Ruth, Bring the shawl you're wearing and hold it out. When she hugged it out, he shoveled six measures of barley into her shawl, and she went into the town. She went to her mother-in-law, Naomi, who asked her, how did it go, my daughter? Then Ruth told her everything the man had done for her. She said, He gave me the six measures of barley because he said, Don't go back to your mother-in-law empty-handed. Naomi said, My daughter, wait until you find out how things go, for he won't rest unless he resolves this today.